Hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my sister Sika. What's up guys? She is a little chaotic, so don't give her eye contact. I said don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be testing out three craft kits from Toys R Us. Plus one mini. The first kit we're going to be looking at is Shimmer and Sparkle. By Crazy Art. Crazy Art? Crazy. Crazy Art. Crazy Art. It's crazy in and here. It's crazy. It's quite crazy. <laughs> and we have had no luck making bath jellies. Every single time we've done a bath jelly kit, how it's was it? gross, non-functional, very gross. Did I say gross? Pretty no. Gross. <laughs> so hopefully this kit is going to give us a little hope because right now it's this big. Oh, she squashed it. It's gone. No hopes. None. You know why? Why? <laughs> because they keep breaking your heart. They keep a break of my heart. They make me cry and they break my heart. Why you why are you laughing at me? It's very serious. Okay, I'm so sorry. You break my heart I'm too. I'm so sorry. What? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this is shimmer and sparkle, the second one is glitter fairies. I, I think there's kind of a a small theme going on small, there. Yeah, it's, it's like they're simpatico. <laughs> This one is a kit that's we're supposed we're supposed to burp, burp, burp. You're supposed to paint this? Take over. I can't talk no more. Cause English oh oh English number one? No, it's just flying around. Do you see it? Try to catch it. <laughs> it's a finger! Run away. I cracked it, are you okay? We are not sympathetic. We're not oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! For those of you who don't know, my sister loves to howl. <laughs> Accidentally howl when I say no. <laughs> no, no. Here we're supposed to be able to make little globy snow globes. Snow globes. <laughs> but this time it's globy fairies. Globy fairies. And there's a sparkle inside. And then mm -hmm. you get the shake it. And we get to paint it. We gon' paint it. We gon' paint it. We gon' mix it. We gon' <laughs> Then we gon' shake it. <laughs> then we gon' shake it. And then we're going to go on to this bonus item, which was actually sent to me by one of you grains. It seems like Salty Crafter and you grains get along really well because the second you see a crab kit, more specifically the brand, Crapola, you love to send me this. So I never knew that Crayola had a bath bomb. So we're gonna play with this and see if it's actually any good. We'll find out. Last but not least is an ultimate henna tattoo kit. Henna. Henne in French. Henne. Henne, which sounds like Lebanese. Very, yeah, Lebanese. So my Lebanese grains, are, if you're here, henne. Henne. Sounds very Lebanese. Henne, henne. For those of you who don't know, henna or henna tattooing is a kind of pigment that you put on your body and the tattooing process only lasts a couple of weeks. More predominantly, it is used quite often in Indian and Pakistani type weddings. So they are absolutely beautiful. We're going to draw on each other. I'm pretty excited. But we have no idea what the other person's gonna draw. You're not gonna want me to draw on you. The only rule is I should be allowed to go in public with it. Um, you can go in public in it. But not be embarrassed. You can be embarrassed about anything, honestly. It's not applicable. <laughs> I don't trust this one. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below which kit do you have the least hope on? I would have to say probably the bath jellies. Yeah, probably the same for me too. They never work. Our first kit, crazy, no, crazy art. Shimmer and sparkle. Look at the sparkles. Ah, uh, my eye. Oh no, I remember. <laughs> At $23, this kit promises that we can make eight jelly soaps. Eight jelly soaps, which means each one is about $2.80? Yeah, about $2.88, I think. Yeah. 2.8875. <laughs> Don't go too far. I said 2.88. Are you reciting pie? Yes, I was trying. <laughs> I probably didn't make it though. <laughs> And I have to admit, this kit looks really nice. I hope that it is as good as the Japanese kit because so far, North America... <laughs> Just because you said pie before, now I'm hungry. Are you gonna feed me? I'll feed you. Do you want ice cream? Okay. I'll get it after. Oh, okay. Hashtag feed Sika is still in effect. I promise I'll feed her. <laughs> so as we can see, it seems like there are different color options. We can make gradients. We can make everything from a shape and a mold to little cubes. I really hope that it does stick together. My biggest worry is that yes, we do have it on the entire box, but why is this girl holding a robe? Yeah, she's like, hey. Hey. What's up? Hey. Oh, he's pitched my skin instead <laughs> That's enthusiasm I like. <laughs> but nowhere is anyone holding the actual jelly soaps. So are they just going to be fragile and crumble when you hold it? We'll find out. For those of you new to this channel, 
Don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. And while you're there, make sure you click on the notification bell button. All notifications. Oh, all notifications. <laughs> okay. 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 Time to see what we get inside. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Colored jellies. We get body wash liquid. Thickas. Containers and spoons. Some molds. That come in flowers, peace sign, candy, and star. And we get some instructions. Notice though, notice, this is a soap making kit. And yet we do not have a single option for... Scent? There you go. <laughs> but what if it's in here? I would be very... Surprised? Very surprised. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, and apparently it expires next month. Huh. So according to the instructions, we're going to add one pack of the dry ingredient, which is only pretty much gelatin and colorant. That's all we're getting. With four tablespoons of hot water, and they do say hot tap water. Then we need to mix it gently until all the powder is dissolved and clumps are gone. Then we need to add the body wash, so it's two and a half tablespoons per packet. Mix slowly. We gon' mix it. We gon' mix it. We gon' mix it. Slowly. Slowly. Apparently I'm not allowed because... No, because you, you, you're not gentle. I know. No, no. <laughs> all right, you're gonna do it. Yeah. And then once we do that, we can pretty much mix all, all the, the other packets. We're gonna do the other colors before we mix them. So we gonna mix them. We not gonna mix it we yet. We gonna mix them. We not gonna mix it yet. It's my show. I decide. <laughs> and a quick sniff test. <laughs> Smells like absolutely nothing. nothing. What about the gel body wash? <laughs> Smells like normal hand soap. There's like a very small, faint smell in the back. It's like the smell is there, but like a distant cousin. You know about them, but you don't really see them or smell you them. You smell them? I don't sniff my cousins. I don't but... sniff my cousins either. But you know they're there. <laughs> so now what we have to do is start pouring the different colors into the different molds. So we figured the first one, we're going to put both pink and blue. And the spoons are so tiny. Okay, you want to do like that? I thought you wanted yeah. us to pour. No, no. That's why I was panicking. You need to be delicate. You need to learn to be delicate. Excuse Nico. you. And she's standing, you know when she's standing. Getting real. Oh, watch your mouth! See, we're doing pretty good. Oh, hang on. The grains look this is oh, already shit. to jellify. It looks like jello. Oh no. Oh no, the first one we made was yellow. I wonder how bad the yellow is oh, then. Oh no. Okay, let's try. Alright, before we start mixing, how does it look? <gasps> oh oh no. no. Okay, we have to hurry. We have to hurry. Alright, for this one we're going to go pink and yellow. How are your spoonfuls having so much more than mine? Because I get in there. You're gross. <laughs> Go keep putting your- you're leaking all over my felt. Well, excuse you, you're asking me to use my right hand and the left hand, okay? I'm so using weird. my left right now. Yeah, because you're ambidextrous, you jerk. <laughs> I'm gonna spark it kick you in the face. <laughs> and so we decided to fill up the uh, remainder of- Why are you still laughing? <laughs> So we're filling up the remainder of the molds just to be a little more speedy so that when they get into the fridge, they're not already clumpy. Well, they're kind of they already, already clump are clumpy. But we're doing our best at this point. Yeah, trying to make clump. Let me finish! So clump. Much clump. Stop interrupting me. As you can see, we completed them. So this one here is the last one that we made. And these so-called bubbles are actually clumps. So you really have to work very quickly. Otherwise, they jellify because it is gelatin. Three hours later. So here we are three to four hours later. We lost we lost track of time. But here are our soaps. We have to admit the colors are so pretty and vibrant. They really are absolutely gorgeous. Now the question is, are you hungry? I didn't expect to ask that question, but I swear I fed her. Are you okay? I'm okay. I need another snack. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. I wanted a sweet snack, but I guess this will do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to attempt unmolding and I'm just going to let in some oh that is stretchy. You need help? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. <gasps> there we go. Oh wow, it holds nicely. Yeah. So it is very jello-ish because of the gelatin. That's 100 percent very firm. What are you doing? <laughs> you're, you're trying to throw this, aren't you? No. No. <laughs> no. You're trying to throw. <laughs> So as you can see, it is pretty firm. It does hold its shape. It does smell like soap. The reason that it's holding its shape firmly is because we're using gelatin. So what's to stop you from grabbing gelatin from the dollar store or agar-agar and body wash 
from the dollar store as well and you have the same activity you can definitely use colorants that suit you so suddenly you don't have to pay $23 for a gelatin soap and it was uh, $2.88 each so comes out pretty expensive for something that doesn't even smell nice yeah so it would end up being way cheaper to do the exact same activity from the dollar store mm. so we're both standing up which means <laughs> getting real Whoa. salt is getting real is what she meant apparently I learned everything from you <laughs> no <laughs> I am not like that <laughs> on camera <laughs> All right, so here are our soaps. We're going to see how well they sud. And, oh, oh wow, oh, that is slippery. So far, it's working. Yeah. I'm actually impressed. It's so slippery, it feels so weird. Yeah, this is definitely, you're definitely going to lose this, but. It actually suds. It does suck. It does feel a little sticky though. I wonder if that's the gelatin. Let's see, after being washed. Cause it feels thick. After being washed, it's more than fine. Yeah. One thing to note is that after about one minute, it starts to crumple and fall apart. So it feels like each soap is probably a one-time use. Look at that. It's actually getting leaving a thick film. That's what I was saying. And then you're like, no, it's fine. You said sticky. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, each soap for $2.88 is a one-time. For one a one-time time use, and it doesn't even smell nice. Mm-hmm. And so now the question is, does it work? Yeah. Is it overpriced? Yeah. It kept us somewhat busy. It did, but for me, I would say this one is definitely overpriced, so it goes in the trash. I'd say skeptical cash because it does work. So if you're pressed to get someone something and they like soap, it could work. It's just expensive for what it is. Yeah, if you find it maybe at $10. Yeah, that would be better, I think. Yeah, not at $23. No, definitely not. Trash. Skeptical. Oh, my face hit me back and bounced back. Karma. Next on the list is Crayola Color Twist Bath Bomb. I had no idea that Crayola made bath, bath bombs, bomb. so for me, I love it when you grains send me things that I have no idea about. Crayola makes quite a few things. It makes nail polish too, no? They do. If you want to know the review of the Crayola nail polish, make sure you follow me on TikTok. I put a review of that, so it's at Salty Crafter. There's really not much to say other than the fact that it says it is a blueberry blast scent. I love blueberries, so I hope it smells nice. I hope so too. And also we're supposed to get a color from blue to yellow, which fuses together and becomes... Green. Not much else to say. Nope. Time to see. Well, we get inside. Watch Ooh. it be like this tiny. You can smell it. Oh. Mm. I want to lick it. Mm -hmm. Don't. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For those of you wondering, I've seen this anywhere between four to six dollars each. So it's pretty much the price of a blush bath bomb. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like blue popsicle. Yeah. I'm right? actually salivating. So as you can see, the uh, shape is no different than any other shape. The than smell- Any other shape than any other bath bomb, you mean? Yeah, that's what I meant. Wait, than any other why you gotta expose me like that? Because I'm your sister, so I have to roast you. <laughs> no. no, I didn't break your heart, okay? Calm your Whoa. Calm. Whoa, no. Calm. Those. <laughs> <laughs> and you're pointing at them. Yeah. I was gonna be like, mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> So the best way I can compare it, and Sika and I agree, is that it's it smells like a blueberry slush. And and slush is pretty international, so if you know what slush or like slush, slush puppy, I think slush yeah. puppy's well known. That's pretty much it. So let's open. Do you think I'm gonna drop it? I really hope it fizzes nicely. Oh, it smells so good. So let us zoom in and take you grains with us. It's a very sad fizz. I've had way better fizzing from other brands. At least it's coming apart. Remember those bath bombs that wouldn't even come apart? You would just put them in the water and they did nothing? Yeah. All those coffee and yeah, lemon flavor. Yeah, they look like good flavors too. All right, in case you're wondering what it looks like not in a container. Not in a green container. Ooh. So it's quite green. But remember, this is a much smaller container than a bathtub. That's something to remember. And so as you see, it's absolutely anticlimactic and it just, it went, it, it was such low fizzage. And remember, the color's only that vibrant simply because it was in a bowl as opposed to a bath it was tub. like in a condensed amount of water. So at the brush of a light, lush bath bomb. At the brush of the light. At the brush of the light, the pff, lush bath bombs equals gooder. 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 <laughs> English. Number one. I mean two. Look, I did two. Uh, number two. Math, apparently, also number two. <laughs> All this to say, compared to Lush, this would go... In the trash! 
our next victim, I mean kit, Glitter Fairies. Let us hope that at least this kit, unlike the previous one, actually has something to do with glitter or shimmer. No sparkles, no glitter, no shimmer. Even this though it was shimmer and sparkle. Did they you have to look on the floor to see the box? Yeah, I had to confirm. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Oh, the salt! The salt. Let's take it and let's put it up here. There. And now it's raining salt. It's raining salt. Hallelujah! <laughs> this kit is supposed to be a snow globe type where we get an activity to paint our own fairy. And it does have our favorite quote which says, Includes everything you need! Oh, we went the same way I know, once. we're That's so awesome. good, high five. Cool. At $20, if it really does work, it seems like it would be a good activity because again, we're getting three of them. But in order to know if it's any good, we have to see what we get inside. <laughs> I don't think I opened it right. <laughs> oh, I closed it! <laughs> Do you need help, honey? No, I got it. I got it. I got this. Oh. <gasps> there we go. Balance. Here's what we get inside. Three ceramic fairy statues. And I do realize that the facial expressions are quite tiny. They don't necessarily make sense, but I guess they're good enough for now. We get three domes like this. Seven colors of paint. Plugs. <laughs> Just plugs. Just plugs. <laughs> We also get a brush that feels like a pretty good quality. I am really surprised that it is quite decent. <laughs> don't give yourself paper cuts. We get white iridescent and star shaped. Sparkly, 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 sparkly. Glitter fairies. Glitter, sparkly, sparkly. Sentient. Sentient. It's such a weird word. French version of sparkly. And for those of you wondering what Sika's trying to do, she's trying to read the French version, which is sentient, but for some reason she's never seen the word for glitter. Yeah, no, I've never French. seen the French word of glitter. You need to go to the Michaels. To the no. Michaels! What else do we have? Yeah! <laughs> You're all and me. stickers! We have stickers too. We do, they're actually really cute stickers. So let's get our first impression with the paint and see whether or not it needs some storage. Ooh. Oh, why is it only half full? Are they all like that? I don't know. Let's check the turquoise. Oh. No. Okay. Looks like someone already used the purple. All right, let's stir and see the quality. It's oh. pretty watery. It's weird because it's watery, but look at it hold on to the toothpick. We're gonna stir the rest of the colors and see what it's going to be like on the ceramic. Oh my god, grains, look! What? It's all the way at the bottom. Someone's not being fair to all the colors. Wow. Maybe it's because they think we don't need enough of it. Possibly, but still, I mean, what if I wanted to make a dark fairy? Hmm. Although the colors for the paint are pretty, nowhere in the instructions does it mention how to mix to get a skin tone. Or at least they should have provided us with a darker skin tone so that we can decide on the lightness or darkness that we want. But no, we don't get colors for skin tone. And they don't even provide us, even though the box clearly says, Includes everything. Includes everything you need! We don't get any kind of mixing palette because we will obviously need to mix in order to make a skin tone. However, no, 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 no. So let's go ahead and do a first impression since this... I don't like the feeling of the ceramic on No, eyes. you don't like it at all. This little fairy is on grass. Let's just go ahead and take green and see what the actual paint looks like. It's as if the paint is too thick that we need to water it down. I don't think it's going to be too thick. Yeah, no, it felt pretty light. So here it is. And here it goes. Not bad, not bad. The ceramic really does absorb the paint. So what I'm going to do now, and Sika's going to be helping, we're going to be painting this little fairy that has her little feet up and probably thinking, I don't know, should I call them or should I not call them? I'm not quite sure. What if they don't like me? I'm not sure. That's what's happening in my head. That's exactly what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> so this is the first coat of green. Second coat of green, it's a lot less see-through. Oh no. So as you can see, this is the turquoise mixed with black. That is really translucent. Oh no. Now they didn't give us anything to do the details of the eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and use a toothpick and hopefully that works. 
And so here is our fairy. I absolutely love the colors. However, it was really difficult to get details. Yeah, no, we didn't get the proper brush for that. I think that one brush is decent, but for details, we had to go in with toothpicks. Toothpick style. So now what we just realized, because these things are supposed to be on both sides. Because they plug in. I like how you're finishing my sentence. <laughs> you're a good girl. Sometimes. You know how much you're of a good girl you are? What do you want from me? <laughs> I need you to go get some water. Get rid of this one. <sighs> Whoa, 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 you watch Why your mouth. Why do you always do this to me? Like, whoa. I can't believe. Whoa. Do you even love just, me? I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just get some water. Why was that so hard? And she slams the door. I'm the boss. <laughs> So pretty much according to the instructions, we're going to be adding water into the dome and then we can put the glitter. And so here she is pretty much in the dome and um, we think it needs glue. Not just does she need glue because she's moving constantly around on the inside. But the snowflakes are uh, the clumpy. Yeah, the glitter just became so clumpy. It's quite gross. I know it could be like a snow effect, but last I checked, it was called glittery fairy, not clumpy snow fairy. <laughs> not dandruff fairy. Not dandruff fairy. Oh, gross. So now the question is, did it keep us busy? Yeah. Was it entertaining? Yeah. Did it have everything you need? No. Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> I thought you were going to stop for me to like get in with you and you just continued. I can't I'm not going to wait for you every time. Okay, fine, fine. You ready? <laughs> Does it? Does it include? <laughs> yeah. The... <laughs> so does it? Include everything you need. <laughs> You happy now? You no. Said, no. It doesn't include everything you need is what no. I'm saying. No. No. So it doesn't include everything you need because you need finer tools if you want better details. Yeah. This really is the best we could do and we spent, what, an hour and a half painting it? And it's not even like a proper coating either. It's very, um, gloopy. Gloopy? Very gloopy. And it's not, uh, it's about uniform. It's not even? Yes, thank you. <laughs> even coated is what she's trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I'm sorry. My French came out. Call is the tabarnak. It's the mad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Collies. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> but we did have fun putting together. So for us, even though there are pros and there are cons, kind of almost equally, I would say, especially we did get one of them that was broken. Yeah. We would say that this is definitely worth, worth your skeptical <laughs> cash. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were going to be at the same time or not. We got it. Next we have the ultimate henna tattoo kit. Yeah. <laughs> As mentioned, henna tattooing is absolutely fun and wonderful, but technically it should also be inexpensive. I've spent $2 on a whole tube of henna that could probably cover half my body. However, this here at $34 was not cheap. And you barely get any. And the thing is, I don't even know if it's henna, but as soon as I smell it, I'll let you know if it is the real deal. It is made by Tulip. For those of you who don't know, I've used many of Tulip's paints for fabric painting. I'm really curious about that one. Yeah. So in order to see if we're going to put some tattoos on each other, time to see what we get inside. You wanna open? Or are you gonna snack? <laughs> I guess snack. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. For $34, the only henna or paint we get is 15 milliliters. Each? Uh, just uh, in total. What, really? In total. It's five total. mils each? Yes. Wow. You can't do anything with this. Oh, that is not good. Not just that, but I'm really curious if there's a nozzle. There is a nozzle. So technically we can probably draw on each other, but not very much. Not very much. And the details probably not very well either. What do we get, Sika? Stencils. You don't seem enthusiastic. At least we do get a huge variety of stencils that look absolutely beautiful. Everything from an elephant to bracelet looking to little mandala type things, geometric shapes. We just can't make them all. And not just that, but they are specifically made so that you stick them on your body and then you brush the henna paint that they call with, with this little brush and then afterwards all you have to do is remove the stencil throw it out five minutes to let it dry and then you put on a setting powder so we have some kind of setting powder we I've never heard yeah no we've never used that for henna before so it's a little bit interesting bizarre bizarre, bizarre. <laughs> let's try it out 
So while Sika is looking at these stencils to decide what she wants, I figured I would go with the elephant and it's most likely not going to work for us to draw on each other because there's just not enough to make an illustration. Especially if we want to try out their stencil method because that's what they're selling it for. Did you decide, Sika? No. One eternity later. Obviously, we are starting with quite a bit of salt on this kit because it seems so poorly put together. If we look at the hand design, we can see that there are four circles. I see three. There's four circles, girl. Oh, <laughs> that one's small. <laughs> it's so tiny, I couldn't see it. So as I was saying, you can see that there's four circles and then there's this cute little design. I have no idea how big this person's hands or fingers are. These are the four circles that are supposed to be for the fingers. Look at that. They are gigantic. They go all the way down to my middle knuckle. And so do these ones, but the circles are much smaller. Look, they're huge. And then we have this little kind of archy triangle, which again is this one, see? But again, when we look at it, it is way bigger than my finger. So there's no way that you can get both this little archy design what? and the circles. It's just not possible. So here they are side by side. It pretty much goes all the way down from your nail, all the way to the base of my finger. On this design, it goes all the way halfway down the finger for everything. Whoever made this, you messed up. You done messed up. Messed up. What? You. You <laughs> So I decided that the elephant is going to go on my forearm right here. Just so you grains know, most likely you will see this for a few videos because it's supposed to last a while. If it's real henna. If it's real henna. Ooh, that is very smooth. The instructions are not clear. Do I use this, put it on top and then spread it? Or do I put it on a piece of paper, grab it and then spread it? There's no indication whatsoever of what to do. So I'm just going to pour some here and then spread it with the little brush that they gave us. But first, let us smell it. No, it's not henna. If you look closely, it looks like paint. It's not very henna-y. All right, so I am dabbing my little brush. It does not smell like henna at all, but it says that the second we put it on and once we finish, we should be able to remove it. It does go on pretty smoothly though. Yeah, it's actually coming off like uh, it's nice and even. I'm just trying not to get the edges. I'm not even sure how to do it, but they did say it's, oh no. Did it come out gross? Oh. Did you put too much? I don't think so. Their instructions were not clear at all, but here it is. Let's wait. So after I finished mine, Sika decided to do three different colors on one finger just to see what it would look like. Now we're waiting five minutes. Here's an update of mine and my five minutes are almost over. Kind of starting to look like a giant mush. Now that my henna has had five minutes to dry, the instructions don't tell us what to do other than to put the powder on top. Am and I gently rub it in. But am I supposed to remove the extra henna on top? Yeah, am I supposed to wipe it off and then put the powder or put the powder on the extra paint? Like, what am I supposed to do? And then after putting the powder, do I wash myself or not? It just ends there. It just ends there. Instructions are absolutely garbage. Okay. Whoa, I know that, but just wait a little bit. Garbage. All right, so since they don't tell me whether or not I'm supposed to remove it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the talc powder right on top. Gently rub it like that. Is that gonna help it dry, you think? I don't know, it feels pretty dry. I have no choice but to wash it at this point. They don't really either say how much you're supposed to put, so there we go. All right, Sika, your turn. I chose the wrong finger. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't mean to flip anyone off. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and wash it. All right, Sika, rub it, girl, rub it. Hold on. Oh my God, my desk. Okay, calm. Hey, suddenly it's not very nice again. Does it come off easy? Okay, so it's set in in a sense. It doesn't even feel like henna. It just feels like tattoo. Yeah, it's paint. It's paint. It's paint. Oh yeah, look at that. You can scratch it off. Oh no, it is paint. They call this henna just because of the amount of designs that they're including as opposed to the actual henna that you're supposed to use. Henna one to begin with isn't that expensive and it literally lasts like two to three weeks. It does. So if you wanted a temporary tattoo just for fun, that would be the perfect thing to do. But look at that. Sika, you're having fun? Yeah, I'm peeling it off now. Yeah, I'm very disappointed. I don't For think dollars it, it's I, yeah. extremely trash. Tulip, I love your products. This is not it. This is um yeah, scam. I think I think we know what we're doing now. Without question, you're salty. I'm salty. This kit is 100% going in the trash. You missed. If you want to watch the previous review, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, check it out down here. If you want to find Sika, you can find me on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.